exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> And uh, so what happens to a losing team? They still fight. They still fight, it's, right? It's four teams, top two teams with the highest uh, win rate, basically. Uh -huh. It's round robin format. So the two teams, the two best teams Ooh. will be. Did you see that? Yes. Pick? That was nice. Pick from 45 degree angle. That's yeah. two points. Yeah. And he accepted it. He didn't even try to stand he, up. Yeah, he didn't. I guess he got caught him off balance so quick. Also, um, there are some guys when they fight, they're, so, they're such a guard pullers all the time. They almost, you know, they just like accept it right away. Just that's the way they want to play yeah, the game. Yeah. You know? But still, here because there are no advantages, mm -hmm. you can scramble up. I know. Not I give mean, the points I mean, I like and then pull yeah, guard yes, again. I agree, but it it, it looked like he could have tried scramble, but listen, it, uh, we've got three five minute rounds. The mm -hmm. guy's fighter is gonna say, you know, whatever happens, you know, I've yeah. got a lot of time to. Yeah. You know, to, to fix whatever's going wrong here. And I think that's also, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. You get three five-minute rounds, you know, there's not, you can't put in the factor of luck too much in there. Still, I, uh, not a fun thing to start a match right away losing two points. Yeah, but you, know but I mean? you still, you look in the long run and you say, I've got three five-minute rounds, maybe I can fix it. Mm -hmm. Still gives you a little cushion of assurance. Oh, oh, now he's coming back, let's see. Felipe so, against Yerlan. whoever wins this fight, takes it for the team. Wow. Takes their team That's to the next, takes their team uh, as the first ranked team in the table mm -hmm. of these four teams. four teams. Yeah. So they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be happy. They're gonna be feeling good tonight, huh? Yeah. Um, if they get, if they fight again today, whoever wins this fight, if they fight again today and they manage to pull it off, they're guaranteed their spot in the semifinals. Got it. Uh, do you know the, the details on the, on the prize? I'm sure the viewers would be uh, curious about the how much prize the winners money? get. So whoever makes it, if I'm correct, whoever makes it to the semifinals, whether they lose or win in that stage, which is supposed to happen in August, each... So to, tomorrow we're not having semifinal. Tomorrow we just complete the no, whole. No, tomorrow yeah. we complete the first pool of four yeah. teams. August we have semifinals. August we have another four teams, mm -hmm. uh, which will be deciding the two semifinalists. Oh, so the semifinals would be in December. So the finals will be, the semis and the finals will be, be in December. Would be in December. Yes. Okay, got it. So so we have uh, today and tomorrow. Today and four tomorrow, teams to four teams to qualify the first two semifinalists. Uh huh. So the winners of. Um, this tournament yeah. tomorrow, they're going to be semifinals. Is that correct? The w two teams that are topping the table of the four teams today and tomorrow yeah. will be the first two semifinalists. Yeah, and in August, we're going to have another four teams and only two, two going to be another second semifinal. Yes. So once they get to semifinal, how much do they make? $10,000 a $10, team. $10,000. As a team? Or Each as team, a no. Each team. Each team. They Each team. The fighters split between them. I, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe you have a... Um, greedy manager and he'll take it all for himself. Oh, for sure. Huh? Yeah, have to split. Yeah. <laughs> if my team gets to semifinal, makes $10,000, I'm getting $9,000, hmm. and all my fighters, they can split a <laughs> <laughs> thousand. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if they lose, nothing, right? Today, if they lose, uh, by, given uh, the, uh, the breakdown of uh, how the tournament is being carried out and executed, I did not see anything for the losers, the two losers today. Got it. I'm just gonna step out for a second. Yeah, you take you take care. It was great talking to you, Professor Said. We're gonna see you again. So, Battle Force, Asai Republic. Yerlan, Tanir Berganov, and uh, Felipe uh, Nakib are basically duking it out for the final match of this tie, the first tie between Battle Force Asai Republic. Whoever wins this match takes it for the uh, t takes the first win for the team. They're three and three tied, and it comes down to the minus 60 kilogram uh, fight to decide which team has the uh, basically one foot in the semi-final slot for the Champions League. Now we're going to go uh, back to some of the comments after this match, and um, I want to see how exciting this team format is 
for the viewers. This is a very unique team format. I think that we do not have anything like this, um, at least this side of the world, something that would um, culminate in a huge cash prize over uh, a series of rounds for one team. So this is basically, it is what it is. It's the Champions League. And uh, the winners of the first rounds will be advancing uh, to the semifinals and then uh, the top two teams uh, fight for the grand prize of, if I'm correct, $50,000 um, for the winning team. Round two. It's the final match of the first tie. Battle Force, Asai Republic. Let's take a look at uh, the backgrounds of some of the fighters. Professor Said is back with us now. So what do we have here? The second round? This is round two. Uh, let's just um, break down uh, the uh, the opponents. Um, Yerlan is a purple profiles. Belt. Yeah. So Yerlan Tenir uh, Tenir Berganov is a purple belt. Here, I think most of the competitors have been uh, brown and black belts, but uh, this guy's level is obviously off the chart. So he's also an Arlen Grip Pro champion. Gold medal here in uh, the uh, Arlen Grip Grand Prix and the minus 60 kilograms. So he's used to fighting here in this very arena. Maybe a little bit of a home court advantage for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's also an active uh, competitor. We see him meddling, you know, in some of the tournaments all over the place. Almighty Jiu Jitsu Professional Championship managed to pull out two wins. And his opponent, Mr. Felipe Nakib. Nakib or Nasib? How do you say it? Um, Nakib is like a more like Arabic name, no? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> let's just call him Felipe. Yeah, let's just call him Felipe so we don't. Maybe ask some yeah. um, <laughs> Arabic roots, huh? Somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, they, you know, a lot of them, uh, sure. they, they have like, a, I know it's like a lot of German. Absolutely. They, I had no idea they have like from people from Lebanon there. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's definitely a possibility. Maybe I'm just pronouncing it wrong. You never know. <laughs> Maybe you said it right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So I'll just call him Felipe and Yerlan. Yerlan, I know, is a common Kazakh name. I hear his corner. So Felipe Same. is a black belt under Fabio Gurgel, yeah. Fabio and Gurgel from, so he's the Alliance. He's Alliance, and he participated in the Iga Worlds held in Istanbul. Yeah, I know him from there. Mm. I heard it was pretty hard for them to, so it's a 60 kilo, right? Is this a they're, minus they're, 60? Yeah, it's like. The weight cut was crazy, yeah. huh? I remember personally myself, I, I, I used to organize the Jiu Jitsu match for ACB Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Have you heard about that one before, like ACB JJ? Yeah, at ACB in Russia? Yeah. Yeah, I have, my students have nine or ten medals in brown belt and black belt from ACB. So they, we're, we, we're so frequent, we had frequent fighters in yeah. ACB. So I used to run those, uh, those shows like, mm -hmm. as, like, a, like as a matchmaker. And, and the super kilos, fights, yeah, the, super the super fights? fights yeah, 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 okay, okay. So uh, the 60 kilos was always the hardest. The hardest, huh? That was, that yeah. was the period for ACB before they went 
with the whole circuit of the uh, open tournaments. Open tournaments. Yes, yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember those it's fights. Some, those were pretty you know, awesome fights. Yeah, I was, I was, I was uh, managing Ma the nice. matchmaking. Yeah. Nice. And uh, man, I don't. <laughs> I, I, let's just say I enjoy more teaching jujitsu than just doing than organizing. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think the satisfaction that we get from. Wow. Asai takes it? Yeah, Asai Republic. Well, I guess we can uh, do the advertisement there. Yeah. Eat Asai. Eat Asai and, and win, win it for your team. <laughs> I think he caught him. It's like, it's... Uh, we have a doctor, we have a friend here. Let's check out the replay. I think, you know, it's like with a punch. Oh, he's hurt. The punch that you don't see is the one that hurts you. I think he didn't even see the submission coming. No, we didn't see it either. No, I, the camera angle we didn't yeah. see. I did not see what happened, but I'm uh, I'm assuming that we're going to get another camera angle. But Isai takes the first win, and immediately afterwards we're going to get B team versus Kyrgyzstan national team. Mm -hmm. It's called Kyrgyzstan national team, but it's just it's a professional yeah, team. Yes, yeah. That's just it's, by choice. Yeah, yeah. By choice. It's not like our <laughs> it's not like, choice yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, like in the Olympic style. The winner, Felipe Nassif.